This is Korea. <laughs> <laughs> What are we trying to do? Are we trying to get some food? John, no. Yeah, let's, let's eat something. Right now, we on our way out to get some food. We're at, what's the name of the station? Jong, Jonggu. Jonggu no. Jong, Jong, Jong no. Jong no station, I believe this is. We're getting ready to go grab some food. We're trying to find some uh, of that Korean chicken. What about down here? Yeah. Is it good food? Yeah. This is just a very famous street food place. Yeah. This one's really good. It's a Metallion. I like this one. Have you ever had that? Breast cake. This is just something different right here. This is tteokbokki and looks like a little sausage in it. Sausage, oh yeah. Mm. It's actually good. You know, it kind of tastes like uh, it's kind of tastes like uh, like a hot dog. And though? Yeah, kind of like a hot dog. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is good. Spicy? Mm -hmm. No, it's good. Mm -hmm. Originally, we were we we're gonna go to Myeongdong Station, but we ended up going to. Jong No Station, I believe this is called. I'll put it in the description. But uh, both areas are known for having really good food and really good deals on food. As you can see, it's like a long line of restaurants, street food all over the place. Uh, the other area is known. The other area is known for having like a lot of foreigners, but this one right here is like a little bit less crowded. A little bit uh, a little bit more local. So we got that tip off from uh, a girl that was working at the Adidas store at Seoul Station. So she took she gave us the information and now we're here. So I already had one thing which was tokboki and like a little sausage on a kebab. Super good. Now we're gonna see where we're gonna go next. I wanna get some fried chicken. I know Takashi probably wants something different or some noodles or some shit, but we'll see what we go get. Anyways, I'll show you guys what we're going to get. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel. And also put on the notification bell so you can see whenever I take another trip and when I make a new video. Alright, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, that one looks fucking good. That looks way better than that bullshit we ate last night. <laughs> that shit we ate last night was bullshit. Seafood. Look at this one compared to that shit we had last night. That la shit last night, those were fucking teenagers cooking our shit. This shit is, this guy's a professional. Yeah, this guy is very professional. Many vegetables, yep. beef, and then. Uh, Shifa? Ours is just mix. That's it. Just yeah. mix. Maybe yeah. one octopus. Frozen, frozen. Frozen mix. <laughs> is our our bak 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 bakery mix. <laughs> Garbage. Oh, one thing that I really liked about Jong No Station is that there's literally endless restaurants to choose from. That could be a good or a bad thing because we ended up walking around Jong No area probably for about an hour, hour and a half before we even came to a decision on what we wanted to get. There's so many different types of food from Korean barbecue to Korean pancakes to Korean style fried chicken, tteokbokki, noodles, soups. Uh, they really got it all. So if you want to have some good authentic Korean food while you're in Seoul, I definitely recommend to go to Jung No Station. This one? Maybe more. Uh, that one. Uh, I don't know. It looks interesting. That 
That does look very interesting. You want to walk over there? Okay. Yeah, let's go. Around shopping? You want to go? Yes. <laughs> All types of little food spots over here. And really the only thing that's wrong with having this many options is that it makes it that much harder to make a decision so really we're just trying to find a spot that sells like that korean fried chicken because i haven't had that since i've been here and i want to get it but i'm actually down for anything i just had some tteokbokki and a sausage that shit is off the hook but yeah nah, we're going we're gonna uh, we're definitely gonna get something good over here let's eat hella good food options up here. Smells good, everything looks good. So eventually we ended up choosing a place to eat. We ended up going to Vaughn's Chicken. Uh, we saw that place earlier when we were walking around. So we ended up coming back to Vaughn's Chicken uh, because the chicken looked pretty good and it was like, they had chicken and beer. So we ended up going with the garlic chicken. It was garlic baked chicken. It wasn't fried, but it was still really, really good. Garlic baked chicken and some French fries and also some korean beer which was really good one thing that i wish we would have did when we went to vaughn's chicken was i wish that we would have got the half and half fried chicken so they have a thing in korea where you can just order half regular fried chicken and half the spicy fried chicken so i wish we would have got that and i ended up learning this from a korean person later that the translation for that if you go into a korean fried chicken restaurant i believe it's Pan Ban Juseo. So if you say Pan Ban Juseo, they'll give you the half and half fried chicken and spicy fried chicken. So next time I go to Korea, I'm definitely going to do that.